few days past Thanksgiving, but chances are good you probably still have a fridge full of all those leftovers. So this morning you're in luck. Chef, Chef Keith Gerke is here, author of Leftovers Right, Making a Winner of Last Night's Dinner. I'm self-taught. I did not sure. go to culinary school, and I'm kind of unorthodox. Uh, people compare. Are you familiar with uh, G.G. Allen? Do you know? Can't say that? I am. Tell me more. Okay. How about a mashed potato ice cream cone? That, what do you think about that? That's fun. All right. You put a little scoop of gravy. It can be room temperature because your hand kind of warms it up. Okay. It's like a, a drumstick, almost. You know, like one of those frozen things. Oh yeah. And you just put in some of this. There's that statistic that that around the holidays, around Christmas, especially between Thanksgiving and Christmas one of the highest suicide rates and uh, I think part of that is because of the stress of what are you going to do with these leftovers. This is not vegetarian. I recently went vegetarian so some of the uh, recipes in here aren't, aren't vegetarian. It's fine. Okay. For me it's like part health reasons but yeah. then also you read things like uh, the average person eats like a pound and a half of feces a year. Yeah, that's really no strange. No thank you. There's a Judas Priest song called uh, A Turbo Lover. Well, I okay. call this Turbo Gravy. It's a spoof on that. And it's basically <laughs> taking gravy to the next level. Why don't you give me a hand here? This is what you do. You're okay. basically just going to put it, put like some of your ham in here. Well, let's put all of it in. I want you to scoop a little bit of the pumpkin pie. Try not to get the crust in too much. And I'm going to put in a little extra corn here. Okay. And then like even like t fried chicken, put it all in there. Kids even if your mashed fun. potatoes have butter, they're okay? Yeah, it's all fine. Right. It's all going to come out in the wash. And then add more gravy. Wow. Gravy to gravy. Of course. Yes. We need more gravy yes. to make the gravy. I'm using 2%. Um, you can use skim for a heart-healthy menu. Okay. So put on some okay. corn sprinkles. Do that here. And of course, don't forget your cranberry cherry on top. I always do a wrap. That's kind of a... Uh, that's, that's easy. easy. That's yeah, good. like it's like... Uh, it's. Uh, can you give me a beatbox? Like a, a beatbox? <laughs> Well, holidays are here, and it's time for cheer, but leftovers have you feeling fear. Go to the fridge, take out the container. You can make your leftovers even greater. Wrap is great, wrap is great. Boom. There we go. Yes. <laughs> and this is like Jamba Juice, eat your heart out, right? Just take a funnel that you get at a hardware store, okay. put it in an old milk jug, and this will just put it in here. You can put six meals or more in this milk jug. That's taken a long time to drain. And this is so fun. My daughter's uh, Spirit and Curtis Ann love these smoothies. It's maybe not as blended as we'd like, but just try a little bit of that. But I can show you, you have a finished uh, milk jug here. Oh and the, my! The fat does go to the top, so you gotta so you give skim it a it good. Off. So come meet Chef Keith today. You are going to be at Barnes and Noble at one o'clock. He's going to be signing copies of his new book. Actually, yeah, actually, I should say I just checked my email before, and I might have to cancel the signing because the books have not arrived. Oh well, okay, never mind that. My daughter won't even try this stuff without the uh, without the whipped cream. Like oh. you're, you're going to have whipped cream <laughs> left over, right? Whoops. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's oh, okay. God. Um, We're going to throw TV. things out to Mark for a check of our weather. Sounds like some great recipes there to try out with your leftovers.